So now East Aurora is taking on the sectionals number two seed, Nequa Valley. In front of 1,500 plus, the Wildcats, they're looking for their fifth consecutive regional title, taking on East Aurora and their star junior guard, Ryan Boatwright. Well, the Tomcats, they're up 6-0 early on in this one, and Boatwright gets the reverse lay-in, extending that lead. Nequa, they shot just two of 13 from the field in the first quarter. On to the second quarter, where the Wildcats start to heat up. Jim Stocky drains the three, tying the game at 12. Same score, Kareem Amadou gets two, giving the Wildcats the 14 to 12 lead. Now tied at 14, Amadou with two more points, and Nequa takes back the advantage. But right before halftime, Boatwright hits his only three-pointer of the game. This one's good enough to give East the 19 to 18 lead heading into halftime. Coming out of the break, Sam Johnson from the corner nails it. The Wildcats regain the lead 21 to 19. Now tied at 23 and in transition, Boatwright finds Tramel Weathersby, who gets the easy lay-in, giving the Tomcats back the lead. Weathersby now for three. East Aurora, they go up 30 to 23, and Nequa Valley would call a timeout. Coming out of the break, the Wildcats are looking beyond the perimeter for some points. It starts with Greg Williams. Nice shot. Moments later, Rajan Muhammad from the top of the key sinks it. We're tied at 31 apiece with two minutes left to go in the third quarter. Mohamed, he's trying to match that energy provided by East Aurora and Boatwright. Boatwright's just doing his thing, going the length of the court, getting the lay in the fall. The junior guard plays some defense too. Here with the heads up play, getting the steal. This time he goes half the length of the court, finishing with the bucket and one. Tomcats, they're up 37 to 35. Now up 45 to 42. Dwayne Evans, he only had four points entering the third quarter. Zero field goals, he gets the putback. Evans, 19 points, 17 rebounds in this game. He makes up for a slow start in a hurry. Here getting putbacks in the fourth quarter. And one more time, Evans getting it done. Wildcats, they pull within one point. The score would eventually be 57 to 54. East Aurora with 1.8 seconds remaining in regulation. Kyle Pembroke with the inbounds pass, finds Muhammad, he gets the shot off and sinks it. Nequa Valley at the end of regulation, tied up at 57 apiece. Momentum seemed to be going Nequa Valley's way, heading into overtime. East Aurora's first possession ends in an offensive foul. On their second possession, Boatwright hits the jumper. He had a career high 45 points, 35 of those came in the fourth quarter and in overtime. After the block, Weathersby finds Snoop Pfizer who puts the icing on the cake. East Aurora pulls off the big upset over conference rival Nequa Valley, 76 to 68. When Muhammad hit the three, it was like a morgue in our huddle. And I was like, what am I gonna say to get them going down? <laughs> and finally they picked it up and it helped that we scored uh, early in the overtime. I work out every day for this kind of game. Me and my grandpa always say, pressure is our middle name. So uh, when it came down to it, I took it into my hands for me to score and get it to the open men. We had some turnovers that led to steals, led to uh, uncontested layups. And it was just a little layup drill there in the overtime. So for the first time since 2005, Bennett Academy is back in a sectional semifinal game. The Red Wings will take on East Aurora Wednesday night at Neequa Valley. Tip-off scheduled for 7.30 in a matchup between two of the state's best junior guards.